Hello YouTube, you're on your line here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So, The Predator just came out a few days ago in Australia. We're actually going to watch it today. It's on at 2 o'clock p.m. It's uh, 12 p.m. right now. Um, probably going to head off in like an hour. So I'll let you guys know how good it is. Um, see if I can get a recording of the cinema as well. For some reason. I don't know, I'm just excited. I can't wait. We have the tickets. We are ready. Mount Druid cinemas are so nice now. Every seat is a recliner. Hello. Wave. <laughs> Wave. Oh my God. Okay, so me and my wife just finished watching um, the, uh, the new Predator film. And... Holy shit. <laughs> okay, so... Spoilers. If you don't want any spoilers, don't watch the video. I'm gonna try to do a real re quick recap of what happened in the, um, in the Predator film. So, from what I've gathered with the new film is... Essentially... It seems as though the whole society of, y of Yacha Prime, it's just my take on it, um, has favoured hybridization. So what they're doing is they're going to different planets and finding the most strongest specimens and injecting those DNA into, their, in, into themselves. Okay, so I just had to move, there's a lot of people. Um, so, I, what I'm, what I'm, I, I, it could be all of Yalchao Prime that has been in favor of hybridization, or it could just be a group. But essentially, what the normal predator in the film is, is just a normal predator. Um, and he's trying to help humanity by giving them a weapon to fight the new hybrids. Because the hybrids are extremely strong. And as you've probably seen from the trailer, or if you do end up watching the, the, um, the film itself, you'll see that the hybrid predator has got DNA from all different planets of all different species infused into him to make him the ultimate killing machine. So, in a way, they both... I don't know, because they don't, they don't elaborate on um, whether or not it's all of, like, all of Yacho society is now, up, like, all for hybrids. I mean, or is it still, is it just a small f splinter group? Because um, one of the hybrids says, we've found the traitor, because the original, I mean, the original predator was trying to give, give the human race a weapon to fight against the hybrids, because there's no way in hell to beat these hybrids, even though they, they did beat a hybrid at the end, with a lot of casualties, <laughs> and its own weapons. Um, yeah, <laughs> so what does this mean for Yaucha kind? and the storyline and all that. I, I was expecting them to butcher the entire Yacha lore, but um, they fit in pretty well, I think. The hybridization, there was a few plot holes in it. Like, the original Predator still had like human DNA in him for some reason, but that would further confirm my hypothesis that the entire of Yacha Prime is being like is evolving into like some sort of hybrid um, civilization. So just had to get all this out before I forget it because I have a really bad memory and I really love this film. Um, so this is sort of like a mini review, I guess. So yeah, um, highly suggest, suggest you see it. It was, I would go as far to say as it was just as good as the original possibly better than Predators and Predator 2. They also used some of the original soundtrack as well. Uh, from the, you know, just from the, the casual Predator films, you know. So, um, yeah, it was great. You have to watch it if it comes out. I am hoping the AVP mod devs add some of the stuff from this movie into the mod because holy shit is it going to be insane because um, my Minecraft AVP series season 4 actually um, Nanku 
it sort of fits in a little bit more, doesn't it? Nanku is a hybrid. <laughs> so um, I mean, he's he's a he's an abomination slash hybrid made from the goo from the Prometheus Rising. But anyway, that's uh, getting into a different department. This video is about um, the Predator film. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.